In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this beautiful team introduction slide in PowerPoint that is very dynamic and that can show multiple team members in a creative, dynamic way. Now, this doesn't only work for black and white images. You can also add your company colors or any other colors that you like and create a similar effect. So we'll run through everything from scratch in PowerPoint and create these nice introduction slides for your team members. And for this tutorial, we're actually starting from Unsplash. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for portraits to get the images. You can also use your own pictures. You're free to do as you like. We're going to filter the licenses to free and orientation to landscape. And this gives you quite a nice selection of portraits to work with. Let's scroll and see what we can find. And this one I kind of like. So we're looking for images with the people centered in the same angle. So these four would really work well. This one as well. Same with this one here. So you can see a lot of the pictures with a person in the center will work well for this tutorial. Let's take these two. Let's download them and jump back into PowerPoint. And once we're into PowerPoint, we drag the pictures on the screen and now we're going to position them correctly. So the white one, we can position it on the right and the dark one on the left. Of course, this doesn't really matter. We're going to right click crop the first image and we're going to set the crop marks so they meet the halfway of the slide. So the right side of the slide is the first person and the left is going to be the second one. The image, we're going to position it about halfway of the picture. So halfway of the crop mark. And we're going to try to do the same for the other image. So set the crop marks correct and then adjust the image until it sort of meets the person or the other person that we have. Let's see what this looks like. That's already not bad, but I think we can position it just that little bit more where they align a bit better. That's too high. Let's make it a bit smaller. This looks quite good. You can see that we have some area on the left here. Now that we can, of course, solve easily with a rectangle. We're going to fill up that space remove the outline and we're going to use our color selection tool here select the left part of the image and that will nicely blend the dark part to the side and this way we align our face nicely in the middle now to cover up some differences like the lips and everything not perfectly syncing it doesn't have to perfectly sync we're going to add a line in the middle so drag the line hold shift from the top of the slide to the bottom and now right click format shape and we're going to make this line white and give it a point of let's try eight that looks quite good this gives a nice divider line between the two images now as a next step we're going to duplicate the slide and now we're going to crop the images so as a first let's say we want to show the man on the right so we will crop the image of the woman crop and drag that crop selection to the left of the slide and now adjust the crop selection of the man until we meet that part. Change the line or move it along with the crop selection. And this gives us quite a nice portrait of the man. Duplicate the slide again. You can use Ctrl D. Add the crop selection, change it to the right of the slide. And then we also change the crop for the women. There we go. And then adjust the divider line. And this gives us a nice image, full image of the woman. Now we're going to duplicate the beginning slide and position it at the end to get a nice closing loop. Select all the images, add a transition, add morph. And now let's see what we have so far without the text. So at first we have a nice divider images, which really grabs the attention. The eyes are really focusing on the camera. So it's really captivating. Once we click the morph transition, we'll make sure that the person, the man comes into view. Once you click again, the woman comes into view and then click for a final time and the both images are cropped nicely in the middle. Now let's add the text effects. And for that, we're going to insert a text box. Let's start with the man on the right. Let's call him John Doe, go to home, change the font to something nicer like Montserrat. Let's use bold and the font type, font size can be 44. Copy the text, hold control shift and drag to create a copy. Let's make this a subtitle can also be Montserrat, but something lighter. Let's do italic and a bit smaller, around 18. And, and change the text to 
explorer mipsum put some dummy text in here alt Control shift to create another copy this font we're going to make it extra light smaller and let's add some dummy text here this could be some key characteristics of the person there we go adjust the text and then you can select them all while holding shift and position them until you are happy now of course we want this text we're working on the wrong slides we want this on the full slide so let's position that here and now we're going to copy it and then paste it on this slide for the woman let's make it an off-white and then change the text for her let's make it chain though I'm going to change this text so that the morph transition doesn't mess up anything and let's align these to the right so arrange align align to the right and then also change the text alignment give it a little bit more spacing and then keep everything on the same line as the male version that is always nice you can move the text box in horizontal lines if you hold shift same works if you want to hold it or move it in vertical lines so that's a nice trick so now that we have the text on the final slides we also want to kind of tell the morph transition where it should come from so let's start with the male variant copy the text paste it on the first slide and we're going to paste it outside of the slide let's space the subtitle and text a little bit further and this way if we preview the morph transition the text will nicely fly in from that side now we can do the same for chain though so that has to fly in which means on this slide the previous one it will have to be put on the left do the same spacing here so this means if we now preview the parts we can see that once we click John Doe appears click again Jane Doe appears but here our John Doe kind of faded away we can solve that by also adding an out animation so we're going to copy that text here outside of the screen paste that on slide 3 so it goes out and do the same for the chain part also put that on the last slide and that way we tell powerpoint this text the chain though should fly out in the transition to the last slide so now let's preview everything we have a nice opening slide with two people once we click the text flies in with more information click again the other person gets highlighted and then once we click for the final slide we nicely glue back to the starting point so in this example we had cool backgrounds to begin with a flat white background and a black background now not all pictures have that so let's see what we can do with other types of images that you can find but the key is that the person is sort of centered in the middle so let's jump back into unsplash and let's maybe look for images where the person are centered but with a different background so this one could work let's download that one and see what else we can find where people are sort of in the same position and if we scroll down let's see this here could also be a realistic image with a colorful background so let's download this one as well and jump back to powerpoint and let's drag in both images to the slide and then do the same effect so let's put this one on the right and the other one on the left and do the same thing so we're going to adjust the crop marks to the center of the slide see if we can position them both in the same way this one we have to make it a little bit bigger there we go just a little bit more so it's the center of her face and let's try that for the other person as well adjust the crop marks and adjust the positioning of the image so here we try to match them in the center of the image see what that gives this is not too bad but on the head i think we have too much space so let's crop this one maybe a little bit bigger and try to align the chins so the shape of the face is kind of cool it's kind of the same this looks quite good let's copy this divider line put that in the center and this will work quite well now you see there's different types of backgrounds and if you want to make it more engaging we can right click format picture and go to the picture corrections what you can do here is you can change the brightness of the image if you want the contrast to get some some alignment between the images but what i also like to do is either make it black and white or you can give it a color tone so recolor it to for example a blue image where one person is in a monotone blue color and then the other person we can make maybe give it a more red or orange kind of color 
And this color combination also works quite well. So let's try the same effect here. We're going to duplicate this light, put the person in blue in large first. So crop the orange part, crop the blue part, change the divider line, duplicate once more, and then go the other way around, reduce the blue part, increase the orange part, change the divider line, and then copy the initial image, put that at the bottom. I'm going to copy some of the text here because we already made that. Let's paste that on the image, reduce a little bit of the text, make it somewhat smaller. And here we have a little room on the left, but we can easily also put it on the top of the image. So you can, you can play around if you don't have too much spacing, you can definitely play around with the font sizes or the positioning of your text. So let's do that in this case. Let's position the name and information on the top left. And then also copy that to the other side. It means arrange a line, a line to the left in this case. And let's also change the text so it doesn't, the morph doesn't mess it up. And then we do the same for the fly in effect. So that the initial slide, copy it, space the text a little bit. We want to copy that to the third slide to fly out. And then from the left person, the orange person, we want to do the same thing. Give the text more spacing for the flying in. And then also copy that for the out animation. Now let's add some morph transitions to all of the slides and see what we have for the second part. And in this example, we have a nice colorful variation of the slide that as soon as we click, the text comes in. Click again and we change to the other person with a nice orange tint. And then once you click again, you get this centerpiece again of the slide. So now you know how to make this nice team transition team member introduction slide in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please watch the video on the screen right now.